This is the Skiva PowerFlow Octifier 8 port USB wall charger. And as you can see here, this is the device itself with the, its power cord and, and power supply with the manual. Uh, and I, I will give Skiva credit here with being not afraid to go with a different type of unique design with this wall charger as opposed to the standard uh, look that a lot of uh, companies do. And this particular charger is capable of up to 84 watts. It can charge eight devices. And I've tried, you know, a variety of different devices with this, new and old, and it, it's worked well and charged everything I've thrown at it. And it can handle basically everything at once if you really need to do that. Charging, is, charging itself is fairly quick for most of the devices. Uh, my one issue with this design-wise, though, is it has, uh, let me bring that up close, recessed USB plugs, which to me are hard to, to, to deal with, especially if this is sitting on a desk somewhere, as you can see, because you can't see them, so they're hard to find and plug into. I really don't like that too much. They would have been, done better maybe if they would have made those flush with this Octo design here. Um, and on the back here, uh, let me pull it up here. Let me move the power cords. On the back here, there's two LED lights that are power lights. That's all they do. Um, I would have liked to have seen an on-off switch, which it doesn't have, and a charging indicator uh, light on, on the different uh, plugs, and it doesn't have that either. Um, the one thing I have noticed with this is it does get warm uh, with it just sitting here plugged in, even with nothing charging. So again, I, I I would have preferred to see an off switch with this, um, you know. And this is a, a device that takes up quite a bit of space as, to, as opposed to other multi-port chargers that are a little bit more compact. Uh, so this is probably more suited for an office environment, or if you really need some place, you know, that you need a lot of plugs to to plug, you know, a lot of devices to plug in. Uh, you know, it can handle that. But again. Uh, it's kind of a bulky design, I think. Um, and, you know, for me, it's it's a cool design, but, again, there's issues with this design that I don't like as well with the lack of the, you know, on-off switch, the charging status lights, uh, you know, the recessed USB plugs. Uh, it's less compact than other multi-port chargers, and I think currently it's pretty pricey at its, at its current price at, uh right now as well which is I think about 70 bucks right now I, I really think that's a little too much in comparison to other uh, multi-port chargers that you can get for uh, less than half of this one currently so uh, overall I, I mean it's it's got a lot of things going for it but some drawbacks as well and I give it four stars